Hi boys and girls! Today we're going to be looking at ABB patterns. Yesterday we were just looking at AAB patterns, but today we're switching it up a bit. So our content objective is I can make an ABB pattern. Our language objective is I can create an ABB pattern by using different movements. So let's look at what an ABB pattern is. So an ABB pattern has two objects, the first object being A, and then the second object being B. In this case, we have one A and we have two Bs. Our first object can be a circle and our second object can be an oval. So our pattern would therefore be circle, oval, oval. So let's look at our definition again. An ABB pattern has two objects with the first object A appearing once or one time and the second object B appearing twice or two times. Circle, oval, oval. Circle, oval, oval. Circle, oval, oval. Do you know what comes next? It is a circle. So you see, our ABB pattern is a circle, oval, oval. And then it repeats itself. A, B, B. A, B, B. A, B. B, B, A. Let's look at another ABB pattern. This time with movement. You can make patterns with your body. So let's say A is posing and B is jumping jack. So this is Kyle. He's posing with his arms across his waist and then he's doing a jumping jack so let's do our pattern pose jumping jack jumping jack pose jumping jack jumping jack pose jumping jack jumping jack the end all right your assignment today, boys and girls, is you are going to be making your own ABB pattern by using two different movements with your body. And when you're done, please take a video and email it or send it to your teacher. All right, have fun making your movement pattern. Choose two movements, do one movement once, and do the second movement twice. All right, looking forward to it. Bye, boys and girls.